something happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I've got to beware Think it's time we stop Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on Steve Stills, 1967, early protest song. Um, definitely fun jamming tune, two chords mostly, a couple of others thrown in later, but just two chords really back and forth and it's a lot, it's a lot like other two chord songs. You just got a two measure phrase of each, of each chord. E7 and A7 are the best two to use for this to get the sound you're looking for. And to get that, this, the, uh, the strum sounded best uh, on beat one of the first measure heavy on the bass, one, two, three, and then on beat three, a big strong hit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm counting it in eight there just to let you, because again, it's really two measures, but strong accent on the bass notes on one, nothing on two, strong strum on three, and then from four on all the way through the, the last four beats, just keep your hand moving, doesn't really matter too much what you do. So. Um, there are four verses in the song, and something a little bit unusual happens in the third, and you could really carry this over into the paranoia, or the, the field day, well, whichever verse. Yeah, the what a field day verse is the third one, I think. But anyway, I um, guess I could look, but that'd be cheating. So, um, two chords, E7 and A7, back and forth, and four sets of those would be one verse. I just sang the first verse, and after, and after you get through one verse, you go into the chorus. The chorus is a four-measure progression. E, D, a, C, and then right back into our E7. Now, in those four measures, you want the strong accent on one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now back to the bass. And again, notice what I'm doing on the first beat is just getting mostly bass notes. Slowly, that strum is. ways of doing it. Now another characteristic element of that is I'm missing the first beat of the second measure, starting with a couple of ups. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... So missing beat one of the second measure gets us this sound. So there's two ups in there. Real simple. E blues. Down here at open, the blues pattern, blues pentatonic pattern, zero open to three, open to two, open to two, open to two, open to three, open to three. Same pattern can be done at the twelfth fret. That's the notes you'd use. So one last thing. Uh, there was a very simple guitar part on the original of this that Neil Young played that went like this. Harmonics. On the E chord, he was hitting a harmonic at the 12th fret of the E string. Now I have other tips on here on how to hit harmo harmonics, but a really quick tip is you lightly touch the string with your left hand right above the fret, not behind the fret like you normally would when you're fretting a note. So I'm right on top of the fret, but not pressing it down to touch the fret. And then back at the seventh fret. That's the one that happens over the A7 chord. And you may have noticed in the beginning I was kind of incorporating that into the strum. So what I was doing there was on the first beat of each chord, I was hitting the bass note with the pick, whether it was E or A, and at the same time I was using my ring finger to grab the harmonic as a pinch, as a finger picking thing. Then for the A, I'd hit the A in the bass and pinch that note at the seventh, seventh fret. And then I would then I'd put the chord down and get into strumming it. So 
So if you want to really pull out, you know, stupid guitar tricks and, and dazzle and amaze your friends, make it sound like you've got two guitars going, that's the secret. So always, always kind of cool to have little extra tidbits in, in relatively simple songs, kind of a neat way to dress it up. Another one, I guess this falls into one of the harmonic trick categories or something like that. So, um, oh, I forgot. Man, I just about signed off. Um, Steve Stills adds a little bit of variety to this when you get into the third verse. Instead of it just being E7 and A7. Oh, by the way, E's and A's will work here too. It sounds fine. It's a campfire song. You don't even have to use seventh chords, except that they're easier to play. The third verse. What a field day for the heat. Thousand people in the street singing songs and carrying signs. Mostly say hooray for our side. Think it's time we start. Okay. What I was doing there was throwing in a G chord after the A, or the A7, and, and actually because of the G, I decided to try it with not using sevens, just so you could hear a little bit of difference of how it sounded. But um, there definitely are some implications or hints at, at the chord dropping down to G right in there. So we do have, um, I guess was, that makes five chords in the song. We've got E, A, D, G, and C. All the open chords on the guitar. How convenient. So in the third verse and possibly even the fourth verse, if you want to throw that in in the paranoia verse, paranoia strikes deep verse, that would be a fine thing to do. But uh, at least in the third verse, bring in that change to G in the uh, in what would amount to be in the second measure of the A or the A7. So, okay, that's it for what it's worth.